Hello everyone. I hope you're okay and had a good weekend. I've come down to La Palma del Condo. Condado, Condado, not Condo. That's something else. <laughs> I, uh, it's about 20 minutes, just over 20 minutes drive from where I live. And here, the reason we came here originally was because uh, there's a carry for here, which is a big supermarket like um, Walmart and Asda. So we decided to have a little jaunt into the village and found out it's quite a little gem here. It's uh, very, very pretty, very historic. And uh, about 11,000 people live here in La Palma and it's a couple of minutes drive from Carrefour. It's very well serviced for a little place. It's got about four banks. Um, it's also got four supermarkets. So as well as Carrefour, it's got a Lidl, which is super bien for vegan food and for other food as well. Uh, it's got a Mercadona that's just opened, which is also good. We've got a Mercadona closer to us. And also it's got a El Hamon, which means the ham. And that is also a supermarket. We have one of them in Matalas Canyas as well. Just wait for him to go. All right, as you can see, what a pretty little street I'm on. And I'm just gonna have a walk into the square. I cannot see anything. So if you're saying hello, hello. Um, yeah, and this, uh, it also has a train station here, which uh, you can get to Seville in an hour, and it's only seven euro. There's only two, two um, trains a day, one in the morning and one in the evening, but um, it's a really quick route. You can do it on the bus, but it takes longer. It takes a couple of hours on the bus. So uh, I'm just going to have a little sit in the square. It's quite magnificent. I was really impressed when I came the other day to vet it out for my, for my live. And I'll just sit down and see who's on. There's Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi. Oh, I can't see the names of people. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Neil. Hi, Diwan. How are you? Um, so I'm just sitting in the little square. I'll give you a little look at it. Ooh. There's some nice little coffee shops here. And there's a beautiful fountain at the back. And I'm sitting with my back to the church, but I will show you in a minute because it's a pretty magnificent church. It's a pretty magnificent building. When we came the other day, it was in the afternoon, so there was no one about because everyone's having a siesta, of course, like they do in proper Spain. And uh, there was only me and my sister walking around just vetting it out. Um, so this is just one of the many places you can visit when you live on our parks. You know it's not just about the park and the town that the park is in there's all the surrounding areas near and i'm just starting to get out and explore them now um and this 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 place la palma del condado is near to seville so it would only take about half an hour to get into seville from here i would definitely do a shop here and then come and have a a drink in the in the in one of the little ca coffee shops or cafes and it's a great place to come they've got really good fish restaurants here apparently if you're into that thing got very good dem um, write-ups on TripAdvisor for the restaurants here as well so that's a really good i definitely want to bring my mom here because she will really like this square that i'm sitting in and i will show you in more detail the reason i'm not going that away at the moment is because the fountain's really loud um when you get near it because it's quite big going to say some highs. Hi Jackie. Is your park called Orange Grove? <laughs> no, it's um, El Rothio. I'm in the park in El Rothio. If you go onto Caravans in the Sun um, website then uh, you'll find the El Rothio Park. Orange Grove is where I used to live. I don't live there anymore. I live here. <laughs> and hi Karen. Hi. Rodel is that? Rodel? What a nice name. That's beautiful. Um, like I said, there's a train station here and we've come away from where my park is. So this is 20 minutes drive towards Seville from my park. My park is then only 10 minutes from the beach, just a bit further. So this is a great place to visit. There's another couple of places called Boyuyos, which I want to go and check out and maybe show you if it's interesting like this place. Apparently, I don't know whether this is a myth or an urban legend, but if anyone's on TikTok or any of your friends or family are on TikTok. There is um, the green screen 
the first green screen you come is a picture of a, a, a white village with a, a, a path and houses and apparently it's meant to be here. I haven't found the street yet but it's had over 1.47 billion used <laughs> on TikTok. So it's a well-used street and apparently it's here but I don't know whether it's an urban, urban myth or whether it's actually the truth. Um, and there's also a Spanish footballer that I cannot remember his name <laughs> that was from this place. So it's only a little, a little place. I'm going to have a walk up and show you the church in its full glory. As I said before, I'm really interested in architecture and lovely buildings like this. It's a beautiful day today here in Spain in August. Oh my goodness, it's August already. How quick has this um, year gone? It's flying past. And my friend's over, he's managed to fly in, mine and Johnny's friend called Pete, he's come over um, for the week and we haven't seen him for two years because of Covid and we normally do Pride with him. Last time we saw him was at Brighton Pride two years ago when we were working for him on one of the uh, floats dancing. Um, and he's here, so we're having a fabulous time with him, going for dinners, staying in nice hotels. So if you look at the YouTube channel, next week hopefully i will upload and um the park life in the sun if you look on that i'll upload a video and you'll see pete the fabulous i'm just going to show you the, turn it round for you and here is the beautiful church with the magnificent steeple Look at that. Hi Carol, where is this? It's in Huelva, Carol. I don't know whether you can hear me with this loud fountain, but it's in Huelva. I'm just going to walk away from the fountain a bit. On the Costa de la Luz near El Rocío, where our park is. El Rocío, and that is the theatre here. Teatro España. It is beautiful. It's a gorgeous place, Huelva, and not as visited as much as the Costa del Sol, Costa Blanca. And I don't know why us Brits haven't discovered Huelva and all it has to offer at the moment, because it is one of the most beautiful places in Spain I have visited. Sharon, Huelva, see, with a question mark. <gasps> oh, how naughty. It's on the Costa de la Luz. We're an hour away from Portugal beaches and Portugal and the Portuguese border. Huelva is one of the 52 provinces here in Spain. And uh, like I said, it's little known to us Brits, but it's very well known with the Spanish. Very well known. They come here for their holidays. And Matalas Canas, which is our beach resort, has around 200,000 visitors a year from only two and a half thousand people living there. So when you go down to the beach now, it's absolutely packed. It's buzzing. All the bars and restaurants are open, everybody's enjoying their life and trying to forget about COVID. Uh, so this square is really nice, little cafe, a couple of cafes over there and some to my rear here. And like I said, this is probably a typical, you know, village or a smaller town here in Spain. When you get off the costas and you come into real Spain, I call it real Spain because it's not that mass tourism. Um, you find little gems like this place, La Palma del Condado, for those that don't remember what it's called. Hello, have a good day. Thank you, Stephen. Hi, Linda, where are you? You fly into Seville. Seville's our nearest airport. You can also get into um, Faro Airport. That's just a little bit further away. Obviously, that's Portugal. But you fly into Seville. Seville is expanding its terminal um, and building a new a new one, so um, more flights will be coming in and out. My friend Pete, he flew in from Stansted and he flies back on Thursday, so he came in from Stansted. Stansted and Manchester are the most prevalent places that are doing flights at the moment, but normally you can get them from Gatwick and other places, but at the moment Stansted and Manchester are the main two places that you can fly from if you're coming in now. Quick flight and then it's only an hour's drive along the motorway um, to get to El Rocío, our park. I'm just going to flip round again. Oh, let me see what Isabel said. Thank you. I haven't got my glasses. Thank you so much for 
continuing to share beautiful Spain. Thank you for watching, Isabel. If you didn't watch, then it would be no good, would it? I'd be doing it on my own. Oh, Aston Villa are playing in Seville on Saturday. <laughs> How fantastic. Well, you should do a double trip. Come and see me and go and see the villa. I'm just going to show you a quick round again. If you want more information about this at uh, my park or any of the other parks that we have on our website please get in touch with us at sales at caravansinthesun.com we'll be happy to answer your questions you can message me direct bambi at caravansinthesun.com or you can um go on our website which is caravansinthesun.com all our prices are on there all the locations all the beautiful um parks that we have and the lovely homes We've got some beautiful homes, um, really, really nice. And some different ones coming up this year as well, which I'm really excited about. Hello, Amanda. Oh, I'm so bad. My eyesight's so bad, I can't see. Right, is anything for sale on your part? Yes, I've got some mobiles. Click on Caravans in the Sun website. Go to El Rocio, E-L-R-O-C-I-O, El Rocio, and you'll see all the ones we have for sale or the ones coming up and um, you can have a look, contact me and we can have a chat. We also do video calls if you want to view the park and have a personal interaction with us, me or one of my other colleagues in Spain or, for it, or all around Europe if it's not Spain you're interested in. So I'm just going to do you a quick flick round again at this beautiful square. The, the buildings are so pretty and ornate, such a nice place to visit. Look at that. It's TikTok ready, isn't it? TikTok ready. <laughs> and there's the lovely, the lovely theatre. I'm going to say over and out now. And I hope you're all well. And uh, you're pushing forward and we can get this sorted so you can start flying out. People start coming out to visit me now, so that's all good. And uh, I hope to see you soon. I'll see you next week if I don't see you before on social media. Have a good day, everyone. Stay kind, be safe. Hasta luego.